Beware of the Goblin Champion. That is how he looks like. He's almost as tall as the other goblin. Oh my god. Yo, these guys are going ham on everybody. Oh. All the mobs and the dragons. Are Everyone, Fire Rides here today. Today, we're going to be doing another add on review, guys. Now, this time, we're going to be reviewing a very awesome add on that has been around for ages. And originally, it came for uh, the Minecraft Java Edition, but now we found a way to make it so it can actually work for the Bedrock Edition, and that is the Crazy Craft add on, guys. And recently, there has been a new update that included way more mobs and a bunch of other cool stuff that I'll show you in this video. The download to this add on is in the description down below below it is a simple media fire link i'm not going to make you go through any shady scammy or bad website guys it is a direct link you literally have to press a two buttons to get this add-on but if you're still unsure on how to download add-ons don't worry i got you a couple months ago i did make a video explaining step by step how to download add-ons so make sure to go watch that video first then come right back to this one because you don't want to miss this amazing add-on so let's not waste any time and let's get started so this is the add-on right here the crazy craft resource pack guys just make sure to turn on experimental gameplay and make sure you have the resource pack and behavior pack enabled all right so this takes about 26.9 megabytes so you don't have to worry too much about storage it is kind of heavy for an add-on but i personally think it is worth it now i'm not even kidding this adds over a hundred new mobs to the game now we're just going to go through most of the things that i would like to quickly mention before we actually start uh seeing all the mobs is that some of these mobs spawn in particular locations by that i mean there's some mobs that are specifically for the swamp biome for example and there's some for like the plains biome the winter biome etc so that's what I really like how they did put a lot of attention to detail and as you can tell these are just some of the moms that we have in the crazy craft add-on. We're gonna start off really strong by showing off the reverse of body right over here so that's how it looks like it looks kind of creepy and next we have the black eyes right over here and the bad thing about these mobs is that if you actually put them in the sun they actually do like burn so that is quite unfortunate so just be aware of that and over here we have a muddy a pig for some reason so that's how the muddy pig looks like it looks really awesome it has a little flower on its head i really like that so this is a maximum dragon that's how it looks like it looks so amazing now keep in mind all of these mobs spawn in naturally like generated so you don't have to place them in creative you can just activate this in your survival world and these should pop up randomly so that would be pretty scary if you found this in survival next guys we have a riptide right over here and this one needs to go under a shade unfortunately but that's how the riptide looks like it looks really cool he's dual wielding some iron axes so that's pretty cool and we have a black snowman which once again has to be under the shade so we're just gonna spawn him in just like so and that's how the black snowman goes uh this one you can only find in like snowy biomes if that makes any sense though so i really do like that it looks really intimidating actually i did not expect that and over here we have a nadar i'm not so sure what this is supposed to be oh okay i think it's supposed to be like some sort of lizard it looks really cool i actually have not seen that and now we're gonna go see the fate master just like so and oh my god what the heck is this holy this is absolutely insane and oh that's the fate master so he is pretty cool honestly he just looking at me as like a wand or something i'm not really too sure next we have a spawn gravite so we're just gonna spawn it just like so and there you go that's how it looks like it looks really cool um it's just a block and with some particles going around it so i think that's awesome and over here we have a i i'm not even gonna try pronouncing that oh my god that looks so creepy it's a eye like on a spider if that makes any sense that is so creepy next we have a brutal zombie so that's how the brutal zombie looks like oh my yeah uh, definitely very intimidating and he's quite tall actually he's way taller than the steve minecraft next we have the tempest wand right over here all you have to do is tap the ground and a tornado will form and will absolutely destroy all your enemies making the spider go all the way up in the air and oh my god he literally just fell so i feel like that's really cool definitely one of the greatest weapons in all of uh, crazy craft so next we have a light furry right over here so that's how the light furry looks like it's like a small little dragon i think it looks really awesome and this is a crimson staff oh my okay but that's what the crimson staff does guys oh my god i accidentally spanned it too much but there you go it literally causes a whole fireball to occur a crimson glowstone golem so oh my god 
What the heck? That guy is absolutely huge. So I turned it to nighttime so you can actually properly see the golem. So there you go. That's how the golem looks like. He is a actual like boss. Now, if you're having trouble watching my screen, make sure to turn up your brightness for a better viewing experience. But as you can tell, guys, there's just a bunch of random mobs over here. We have this thing right over here and uh, the block right over here that I did not spawn. And we're going to spawn in a blue whale. So we're just going to spawn it in just like so. And oh my god, yo. That is absolutely insane, guys. They finally added sea creatures after so long. And there's a blue whale right over there that I did not spawn, guys. So that's absolutely beautiful. Just more proof that these mobs spawn in your world uh, randomly. You don't have to spawn them in. You can literally just find them. But we have a blue whale right over here. They look so derpy. They spawn a guard just like so. So that's how the guard looks like here we have an npc male so that's how it looks like they look pretty cool next we have a rotten a pumpkin so that's how the rotten pumpkin looks like he is a evil 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 mob he will literally attack you and next we have a ivy uh wake we have to spawn this in the shade unfortunately uh, but that's how it looks like we have this mob right over here i'm not even so sure what it's supposed to be but regardless i think it looks really cool and next we have a dread man so we're just gonna spawn it in just like so uh he has a bunch of nunchucks i'm not so sure he's supposed to be like a ninja or something but I think it's really cool. So that's how the grass chomper looks like. He is disguised as a grass block. And this is how the night fury looks like. It's like a small little dragon. I really do like that. And over here we have a rot skate. So that's how the rot skate looks like. He looks really intimidating. And over here is a black slime. So uh, that's actually really cool. I did not expect that. But there you go. That's how the black slime looks so like. So this is how the cursed spells look like. So that's how it looks like. I'm not even so sure what it's supposed to be. Next, we have one of the coolest mobs is the wizard. So that's how the wizard looks like. Uh, there you go we have a little wizard and we have a big wizard right over here and oh my god these guys just have no mercy next we have a blood stain so that's how the blood stain looks like next we have a moth mother so we're just gonna spawn it in just like so and oh my god that is a massive moth with extremely bright yellow eyes so i personally really like that what would you do if you saw that in real life like that moth in real life so let me down below in the comments what would you do Alright boys, next we have the Undead Barbarian, so that's how he looks like, really awesome. Then we have a Solid Slime, so uh, I have no idea what the difference is, but this is apparently how the Solid Slime looks like. And over here, we have a Stud Bark, so we're just going to spawn that in just like so, and oh my god, that is absolutely scary. Then we have a Werven Warrior, so that's how the Warrior looks like. And next, we have a Ram Wolf right over here, so that's how the Ram Wolf looks like. Looks like a completely scary version of a wolf, and Oh my god, yo, these guys are going ham on everybody. All the moths and the dragons, they're just going absolutely ham on everybody. There is a full-on battle over here. Maybe I should not have spawned them too close to each other, but I think this is pretty cool. Next, we have a shroom over here, so that's how it looks like. It looks really awesome. Then we have an undead livestock right over here, and over here is a crawler. Next, we have a chronic charge, just like so. So basically, when you tap this machine, you will cause a mini explosion. But be aware of it because you might get slowness of five if you do get too close to it. And over here, we have the cursed armor. So we're just going to spawn that in just like so. So that's how the cursed armor looks like. This is a hollow ENT. So that's how it looks like. It looks really awesome. Then we have uh, pants right over here. So that's how they look like. They're a full on ghost. So that is actually really, really creepy. And over here, we have a burst right over here. So we're just going to spawn that in just like so. What the heck is that? I have no idea what that's supposed to be, but it's still pretty cool. Then we have a blitzer. We're just going to spawn that in. And oh my god, what the heck is that? Oh, yep. Definitely a more intimidating mob. Holy, I'm pretty sure this is only exclusive to the nether guys as you can tell there's actually a killer whale I did not spawn it in and over here. We have the dead adventurers So we're just gonna spawn them in just like so and they actually come in different priorities So I think that's really awesome next we have a Trevor right over here So that's how they look like they look absolutely insane. Is that it's literally your Brian's head spinning on a stone a block So that's pretty cool next we have this thing right over here the high regular looking man over here and in a matter of seconds, he will transform into a dragon. So beware of that. Don't let the looks deceive you. So next, we have a bloody zombie right over here. So that's how the bloody zombie looks like. And over here, we have a dead hound. So we're going to spawn in the dead hound. And oh my god, the dead hound. Bro, you can literally see the inside of their organs. And yo, killer whales are showing absolutely no mercy. Yo, chill, my guys. 
And over here is a Tetra PD. So we're gonna spawn that in just like so. Oh my God, you know what? They actually look kind of creepy. And next we have a Ender Cat. So something a bit different. Uh, these are only exclusive to the end. And something that's really cool that we have is we have a Narwhal. So we're gonna spawn in the Narwhal just like so. That's how it looks like. It looks absolutely insane and absolutely innocent. Uh, I don't think the Killer Wills will kill it. We have a Spawn Inferno right over here. So we're just gonna put that in. And that's how it looks like. Absolutely insane. We have this thing. I I, I'm, I'm sorry i'm not even gonna try pronouncing it but it's like a statue that moves around so that's pretty creepy then we have a bird brain right over here oh my god you know what that's actually really creepy over here we have a mini tour so we actually saw this earlier that's pretty cool all right guys so we're gonna spawn in a bone eater so that's how the bone eater looks like it's like a cyclops then we have a land a shark so that's quite unusual i'm not so sure what that's supposed to be but we have a land shark right over there that's how it looks like they look really cool and over here, we have a axe right over here. I'm not even going to try pronouncing it, but basically, uh, whenever you tap it, you create fireballs. Next, we have a cruel slime. Oh, my God. That looks absolutely disgusting, but that's how the cruel slime looks like. Next, we have a solar warrior. So, that's how the solar warrior looks like. It actually lights up the place. He is super bright. We have a cannibal. So, we're going to spawn in the cannibal right over here. That's how the cannibal looks like. We have a vicious spider. So, that's how the vicious spider looks like. He is a purple. Then, we have a stone ram that's how the stone ram looks like over here we have a rootling right over here so that's how the rootling looks like uh, they come in different priorities we have a fire maiden right over there that's how the fire maiden looks like it looks absolutely insane anyways guys we're gonna spawn in a worth right over here another ghost looking mob and over here we have a hobgoblin so something quite different uh this guy is absolutely tall he's green and he has an axe so beware of him so we have a shadow gas another mob exclusive to the nether so that's how the shadow gas looks like and over here we have a livestock right over here that's how it looks like it looks really creepy oh my god it's basically all the mobs but in like zombie versions if that makes any sense and over here we have a blood slime and what the heck that is absolutely creepy they have the decapitated heads of people inside of the slime that is absolutely insane and over here we have a cluck uh shroom right over here and over here is the molt azalto right over here that's how the molt azalto looks like absolutely insane kind of reminds me of the uh the solar guy and over here we have a fly a dragon uh, i'm pretty sure we did see this yes i was testing out the add-on and i actually found this in only swamps guys so this is only exclusive uh, to swamps and over here we have a goblin a champion and holy he is absolutely huge guys be goblin champion that is how he looks like he's almost as tall as the other golem so be aware of that these are two massive giants in the atom that will definitely put up a good fight so be aware of them if you're gonna fight them please go prepare and over here i don't even know how to pronounce it but we have these floating eye thingies and over here we have a scarecrow uh something a bit more normal and over here we have a mag one so we're gonna spawn that in just like so that's how they look like basically a bunch of floating stone blocks and over here we have a dusty paladin i'm, I'm so sorry if i can't pronounce that but that's how they look like they're fighting something oh my god they're fighting the scarecrows never mind the scarecrows will kill you too literally everything about this add-on will kill you and over here we have a bender we're gonna spawn in the bender just alike so that's how the bender looks like what the heck he is absolutely insane and oh my god they're fighting this massive giant right over here let's go benders i'm gonna spawn a bunch of them and hopefully they can take them down next we have a corrupt villager uh something quite unusual but that's how the corrupt villager looks like and next we have a black water right over here that's how the black water looks like we have a shell bit right over here that's how the shell bit looks like uh it looks really creepy it's supposed to be a snail or something and over here we have a vanta ray so that's how the vanta ray looks like it looks really awesome yep that is the vanta ray it will literally just fly all the way up Guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and make sure to follow my Instagram and my Twitter for more updates on my life. To many the channel, future videos, and overall, just have a way to contact me. The download add-on to this is in the description down below. It is a direct media fire link, guys. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you go through any spammy website. Anyways, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you later, french fries.